Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Isolation. In this one, we're not gonna be trail building. There'll still be plenty of riding for you to watch and a brand new bike that I can show you. But like, look at this weather, it is crazy. It has been so cold this week. This is like the third day of snow, but this is the first like morning of proper snow. It's crazy, the ground's been frozen for almost three days. It's still coming down hard and I haven't been able to get out there and dig, so I'm so eager to get back out there. Um, to make things a little better though, I did get a really nice surprise from Marin this week. I was expecting just a frame and I got a complete bike. I got the Alpine Trail XR, as you can see right here. And I'm really excited about this bike because I looked it up again after they sent me it and I was blown away by the price of it. This thing retails for only $4,800 Canadian or $4,799 exactly. And that is like such a good price. And that's like full retail too. And that is such a good price for like what you get here. So let's take a look at this bike here because this is unreal. First of all, the paint job, like I love that desert theme with the red. It is such a sick contrast. The red fork and the coil shock is a really nice touch. My bike's gonna be a little different so I'm gonna customize it to my own parts. It's not gonna look quite like this, but like if you're just looking to buy a bike, this looks so cool. And the drivetrain, really solid. You have an XT drivetrain with an SLX shifter. And then you have the Shimano MT, I think they're MT400 brakes. So they're like one step down from SLX. Still really solid entry level brake set. And I would say that is the one thing on the bike I would upgrade right away. Everything else looks solid. You got like really nice FSA cranks on here. I threw my own pedals on just so I could show the bike with pedals. These are the Chromeg Daga pedals that I always buy from my bikes because they're my favorite pedal. And yeah, it doesn't come with a set of pedals so you can do whatever you want, flats, clips, whatever. I run flats all the time, comes with the Marin branded rims and Shimano hubs. There's a couple things I'm gonna do to this bike to really customize it and throw some of my own parts on it. And I'm quite pumped to get that figured out. I can't wait to show you that bike. I'm just waiting for a few more parts and I'm not gonna have it ready for this episode and I'm not gonna be riding the bike for this episode because of the weather. Luckily, right before all the snow hit, I took the San Quentin out to Cumberland and rode some of the rowdiest trails in town on the hardtail. It was pretty gnarly. Let's go check that out right now. We're back out here at my local trail network in beautiful Cumberland, BC. And today I'm challenging myself to ride the San Quentin on some of the gnarlier trails in town, specifically one called Prohibition. I've hit it like once or, tw oh yeah, I've hit it twice on my 29er. And yeah, there's some gnarly stuff, like one big rock slab into a flat turn, a step up that's pretty much impossible to clear. We'll see what it's like on the hardtail. And there's still a bit of snow up here when I was climbing up, so. We're keeping things as gnarly as possible today, I guess. All right, here we go. Well, safe to say that run I was out of commission. Oh my God. And here's that step up I was talking about. I knew I wasn't gonna clear it that time because I was going too slow, but I still wanted like a test run in. But yeah, this lip is probably, I would say around 15 feet tall from like the bottom here all the way up. It's nice and long, which definitely kills a lot of your speed. If you guys saw the last episode of Isolation, I was talking about how the long, takeoff on my new speed gap is so long and I was worried about it being a speed killer. 
This is like the definition of that. Look how long this is. And if you're gonna have a takeoff this long, you really need to like dial in the curve. This thing is just so beat right now and weather worn. And this running, terrifying, like so scary. It's just like a loose rock garden. And look at the rock face I just rode down. It's just like a river right now, just water running down it strong. Okay, that was gnarly. This step up will be really cool. I'm guessing like that's gonna take quite a bit of work. I gotta find out when they're building next, help out and get that running clean again because yeah, the step up itself, like the jump, not that huge. The problem is this whole setup is so gnarly and you've gotta be pinning into it. That was terrifying on the hardtail. All right, let's continue down the trail. Oh. Whoa, loose rock everywhere. Yes. Oh yeah. That was a really good, bad idea. Survived it, <laughs> lots of fun. I'm definitely gonna bring the big bike though next time, not the hardtail. I think this little bike on terrain like that is just so gnarly. Okay, and if you wanna be featured at the end of any of these isolation videos, then remember, you can go to the link in the description here, join that group folder, sign up for it, and then upload your content so I can download it and throw your clips at the end of the episode. Here are this episode's submissions. Thanks so much, you guys. You're the best. See you next time. Peace.